presented by Federal Bank, your perfect banking partner. Back with the market, right here in ETNA. Let's just revisit what the market has settled in at an hour or so into trading. And we are very, very mild today. 21,887 though on the Nifty Futures. So the headline number really is not giving you any reason to complain. BPCL, Hindalco, ONGC, once again, it's the commodity names which are actually surging higher. And of course, there are surprise movers like Infosys, which are up 2% right now in trade. There's TechM, Wipro as well, which are going good. And Bharti as well is firing all cylinders uh, about a percent or so higher there. Having said that, the pressure on banks continues. And today, it's clearly Bajaj Finance after its numbers, which is the big drag. The stock down 4.5% as we speak right now, along with FinServ2, which is down a percent and a half. But in this market, I'm sure our chartists are identifying some chart busters and stocks to trade. So let's quickly take it across to them. Kunala, the chart buster you've identified? Well, yes, Akshay, and uh, that's CESC, a uh, you know, mid-cap name. But the stock which has now confirmed a box pattern breakout, which is a rectangular pattern breakout, and that comes after years of consolidation. So as you can see, over the last five, six years, from 2017, the stock was stuck into a big broad range. 100 approximately was the resistance point for the stock and closer to 40, 45 as a major support, which means a band of almost 60 rupees to 65 rupees odd for a trading range for the stock. The moment the stock had given a breakout from those 100 levels, we saw the momentum surging back. Look at the surge in volumes for the stock. It, it, it was one of the highest volumes the stock had seen over the last uh, 8 to 10 years uh, you know, for itself. And that really uh, you know, changed the texture for the stock completely. What we are looking out for now is, uh, is almost a 60 to 65 points breakout from that 100 levels, which means closer to 160 to 165 should be a modest target from a near-term play for CESC. Okay, and Nuresh, what's the stock on your radar? So, looking at paper sector, uh, one by one, we've earlier covered JK paper. Now, the next one breaking out is a West Coast paper. The stock has hit a new 52-week high, all-time high. Uh, been one of the better trending stocks as well. After breaking out above 650, went to 750, 770 levels, did a retest. Uh, a classical triangle formation and a fresh breakout today. Uh, I would expect a further momentum in this uh, name towards the 900 to 1000 mark in the short term. Stop loss to be placed at 740. Decent enough volumes uh, yesterday as well as today. So expecting further follow up. Okay, let's talk individual trading ideas too. Kunal, what's your list like? So HPCL is the stock which I would recommend at current levels of 460 approximately for a target closer to 485. Stop loss could be kept at 452 with the OMCs uh, into high momentum. And the other stock is BSC after a correction of almost uh, 600 to 700 points in the last three months. I think the stock is now looking ripe for a, a reversal on the positive side. So it's a list to buy with a target of 2300, stop loss at 2150. And uh, Nuresh, let's have your stock strategies as well. So first is a buy on IOC, strong momentum in the space, uh, setting up for a fresh move, stop loss at 148, target price of 160. Second is a buy on Bosch Limited, which has uh, continued in momentum, showing the latest strength, uh, stop loss at 23,400, target price of 25,000. All right, Nuresh, thank you very much. Well, we are just 